Last weekend, uh, my husband and I had the opportunity to uh, go for a little vacation. And in the meantime, um, mom and dad were taking care of our animals. Here we see dad taking care of uh, Ezekiel while uh, we are gone. And um, he was taking Trevor's place. And also mommy was taking care um, of the garden while we were away. So that was uh, very much a blessing for us to have mom and dad at home to, while we were able to, to go for a little vacation. And uh, so we went um, and uh, we went to St. Jacob, which is a little town. Uh, it's, it's a little far away from our place, but we had a great time looking at all the scenery and uh, we were also looking at the uh, at the horses, the buggy, and it was so nice hearing the the sound of the horses on the street. And um, they that's their farm. Some of them don't have electricity at all. Some have just a little bit, um, but you can tell that they do work hard. We also visited a little. A general store which is run by Mennonites and I was so thankful to see that it was written Christ died for our sin on their building um, that was uh, something I enjoyed seeing there were material all sorts of material in that uh, little store they had um, also they had uh, different books and uh, we were enjoying looking at the hymn books and we bought one for ourselves um, and it was, uh, you don't see that very often in stores anymore, those uh, Christian hymn books. We also took time to go walk in a park. There was a beautiful park. Uh, it was quiet. And um, we had the time to just, um, to just talk to the Lord and to each other, to communicate um, in our busy lives. It's good to stop and to go at the feet of Jesus and rest there and talk to him. So it was a really nice time. We took time also in the, bar, in the Bible and uh, seek the scriptures. Here I was filming Trevor, he didn't know I was filming him while he was reading his Bible. And uh, then we went to a uh, farmer's market. Um, and uh, you could see uh, here all the hard work that was done. Most, some of them by, by Mennonites again. You, and we here we bought some sheep cheese. I was always interested in tasting what it tastes like, and it tastes really good actually. And um, there was uh, many people buying uh, what they had prepared. For, the Mennonites prepared for the markets. And we also saw some Bibles, which we were excited to see because you don't see them very often. And so if you see Bibles, I would recommend you to buy some while you can find them. And uh, so here we could see an old King James uh, Version Bible. And uh, it was really interesting to look at it. We enjoyed that. and welcome to another episode of encouragement in the way of the Lord and this week we would like to speak about there is a time to work and there is a time to sit still at the feet of the Lord and uh, so you just saw our little vacation that we just had Trevor and I um, it was short but enough to um, give us some rest and now we are going to share with you another subject that was on our um, on our heart and it will be talking about Mary or Martha so here I'm asking you are you a Mary or are you a Martha and um, so we will start with um, Trevor will read for us Luke chapter 10 verse 38 to 42 now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village 
And a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Thank you. So yes, so Martha, as we can realize, she did not know the Lord Jesus as Mary did. So I was just thinking the other day, if the Lord would come to our house, I mean, I would be, I, I don't think I would be cooking. I think I would be sitting at his feet and really listening to what he has to say. I have so many questions for him, but uh, yeah, I would just be sitting and, and wanting to, to listen. Another thing is that um, the Lord could have provide uh, like he did for the 5,000 people with the five loaves and the two fishes. Um, so Mary knew how the Lord could just provide. But at that point, Mary needed a time at his feet to listen to what he had to say. And I think it's the same for us. We need to take a time to sit at the Lord's feet, to listen to what he has to say and to also to talk to him to have have this conversation with him and and put before him our our request our request and uh to also read his scriptures wait to what the lord has to say and another little secret that i can share with you is that oftentimes at work i will bring a little uh, in the morning i will i read the bible and if there's something that speak to me and I try to make sure that there's always something that would speak to me for the day, but I will write it on a piece of paper, that verse, and I will put it in my pocket. And during the day, I would just get it out and just read it again. And uh, just remind me of what the Lord did talk to me in that morning. And it would just help me to keep going my day. It's not much, but it's just a little thing enough to, to have this thankfulness in my heart during the day to know that there is someone that do care for me and um and he does care for you as well and so do you have an example as well trevor of how, how you go to the feet of the lord and how he he is there and... well you come i come to him you know every morning it's what you know the difference between mary and martha was the ordering of their priorities uh, you know, Martha saw the uh, f making of the food, of the ordering of the house, you know, that as the priority where Mary was looking long term. She was looking at Jesus to learn to, you know, seeing him as very possibly as the Savior and understanding what he represented more than just a good teacher, a good rabbi at that point. And so she was building upon her life and every day, you know, making it a point in the morning, come to take my time with my Bible and that's sitting at his feet. I am hearing his word. He is speaking to me from, you know, centuries past, but that's still relevant and important today. And so, you know, rather than going about doing the dishes or taking care of some little task that might be able to wait, it is to come to him and spend that time and make it that priority. That's a good point. Thank you for, for, for this. And also not to forget also that the Lord Jesus of, also often went to, um, to up, up on the mountain to, to speak and to pray to his father. Uh, so if, if the Lord Jesus did it, we have to do it also to take that time in and Again, another another little secret is that sometimes I'm I, I say, Trevor, I need to go to the Lord. I just need my time because after, you know, we're so busy and uh, but after a while, I'm like, OK, I need to just go spend time with the Lord. If that's OK, if everything is 
is okay with the animals and stuff i can just go doesn't need to be long but just enough to uh just go to the lord and sometimes i just need to do this and the lord know exa knows exactly what i mean is help lord just help me and and he does and it doesn't take much um but just that just encourage me give me this energy again to keep going and to have um this joy again because his joy is our strength and um so yeah i'll do that occasionally but so, uh, other than to read every morning i need to do that extra so yeah this well, is yeah. this is actually something we we set forth really early on in our relationship and that was you know since we put christ at the center of it that if one of us needed to take time with him, the, it was there's never a problem. It didn't matter when, didn't matter what was going on. If it was something that the other needed, we did ever we do we let him take it. And if we the the other one needed to do something else to do the dishes to take care of the animals by themselves, we normally do it together. It's not a problem. You know we are keeping our focus on him, and as such. It creates the blessing that is, you know, our marriage, our relationship now. And yeah. it's truly a good, you know, it's the cornerstone as it should be having him there. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was it for, for today, for this week. And uh, in the meantime, we, pr we pray blessing over you and yours. And don't forget, be a shining light. And if you don't know him or you're not sure, go to him in prayer seek him and he will let himself found so we love you we thank you and we'll see you in the next one until next time we'll god. see you then god bless